give God all of the glory. And uh, we praise God for Pastor Jan uh, John Brown. Amen. about faith. And the reason I would sort of caught my attention was the fact that we had so many sick folk. Seriously sick people. And I wanted to make sure that we knew what faith, just to refresh our memory about what God can do. And the only thing that can really encourage us is the Word of God. Because the doctors can say there is no hope. But I want you to know that if God says yes, it's done. It's done if the doctors, if God says yes. And the only thing that can that and we were talking and I'm going to faith is taking God at his word amen, amen. Mark the 11th chapter and the 24th verse says therefore I say to you yes. whatever things you ask when you pray uh -huh. believe that you receive them yes. and guess what and you will have them Believe that you receive them and you will have them. Now, while Jesus was uh, ministering, he mentioned, uh, he sort of talked about the amount of faith. On various occasions, he talked about little faith, great faith. Amen. So you might say that there are different degrees of faith. Amen. And, and guess what? It's really important that we realize that Jesus richly rewards those who fully trust in him. Are you trusting in him? Oh, yes. uh, yeah. If you're trusting in him, you will be rewarded. I would like to call your attention to these levels of faith. And I, I talked about the first one yes. a few Sundays ago. Believe in God, and, but allowing emotions or feelings to be involved, amen? And, and when we look at Judges, the sixth chapter, the 36th through the 40th verses, it reads, so Gideon said to God, if you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said, look, I shall put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece only, and it is dry on the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so when he rose early the next morning and squeezed the fleece together, he wrung the dew out of the fleece and a bowl full of water, amen? Then Gideon said to God, do not be angry with me. Just plead with God. Still not sure emotions taking over. But let me speak just once more. Let me test, I pray, just once more with the fleece. Let it now be dry. Only on the fleece, but on the ground, let there be dew. And God did so that night. And it was dry on the fleece only. But there was dew on all of the ground. Amen. So there are degrees to faith. And at stage one, we cannot believe sometimes unless we have some sign like Gideon or some great feeling. You know, I just feel it in my bones that it's going to happen. Amen? Yeah. 
and we feel our fleece like Gideon did and if it is wet we are willing to trust God hallelujah but this may be true faith but it is imperfect faith amen yes. it is it always looks for a feeling or something besides the word of God we are increasing in faith when we trust God without our feelings. Amen? Amen? And it is blessed to believe without having an emotion. There are stages of faith which suppress that of Gideon, surpass that of Gideon and his fleece. So let's take a look at some of these phases. The first phase of faith believes when there are favorable emotions. And the second stage is when there is the absence of feeling. And this third one is the superlative. We believe God's word and what he says. When circumstances, emotions, appearances, people, and human reason all urge to be different. Amen? Amen. It's different. At, at stage one, the Christian experience, we cannot believe unless we have some sign or some great manifestation of feeling. We feel like Gideon did. Amen? Amen. And, and this, we must remember that this faith may be true, but it's an imperfect faith. Hallelujah. And of course, when we're going for something, we want to have a sure foundation, don't we? Amen. And this stage of faith always looks for something else to go along with it other than the word of God. Matthew, the 20, the 8th chapter, beginning at the 23rd verse and the 27th reads, Now when he got into a boat... This is Jesus. His disciples followed him. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea so that the boat was covered with waves. But he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, we are perishing. Hallelujah. But he said to them, Why are you fearful? Oh, ye little of faith. Remember I told you different kinds of faith, much faith. He said the little faith. Amen. When he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So the men marveled, saying, who can this be that even the winds and the sea obey him? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must let our faith be fixed on nothing else than the word of God. Amen. Amen. In the way that we believe. Hallelujah. That is the most important thing. Just like we believe in mathematics, two plus two equals two. And we Believe that because some mathematician told us so, and we know that to be a fact, then that's the way we're supposed to know that God will do exactly what he says. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew, the 15th chapter, the 21st and through the 28th verse reads, Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But I want you to know he answered her, Not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away. For she cries after us. Yeah. But he answered and said, I was not sent 
except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Talking about he was only sent from his father to Israel. Then she came and worshipped him. It didn't matter who he was. Amen. He was the one. Hallelujah. We got to realize who Jesus is. Amen. Oh yes, he's the Lord. She said, Lord, help me. Can anybody say, Lord, help me. Oh, the Lord. But he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread. Don't take the bread from the Israel, the, those unique uh, high polluting people and, and throw it to the little dogs. Oh, have mercy. But she had an answer for me. She said, yes, Lord, yet even the dogs, even the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master table. And then Jesus answered and said to her, Oh, woman. What's he say next, uh, Sister VJ? Faith. Great is your faith. Amen. Amen. So we had one that said, Oh, you have little faith. Now he's saying that your faith is great, oh, woman. So let it be. Hallelujah. So let you know that if you got great faith, he will say, Let it be. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that what we do is time the doctor calls for hospice, then we get excited and we don't believe anymore. Oh my Lord. We got to erase it out of our minds. Amen. It's true they do know something, but our faith makes the difference. Yes. Hallelujah. We got to, and you know, the enemy will come and bring it in your thoughts. Amen. You know, it's, it's, this is the end. You know, but it doesn't necessarily have to be unless it is God's yeah. ultimate will. Yeah. But I tell you what, we got to believe God because why? Because he said so. Yeah. Let it be to you as you desire. Yeah. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Hallelujah. Yeah. We got to count on the word of God. Yeah. And these are examples to help us. And we got to remember, bring these things into remembrance when it happens. And I want you to understand that when you band together, the faith is stronger. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let everybody know, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. And you know, sometimes we want to be secretive about our illnesses. And I want you to know that sometimes you need somebody to help you pray. Yeah. Because at the time, you may not be able to pray that well. All right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember Amen. Bishop uh, Sidney Bass in Huntington, West Virginia. I was ailing, knees bothering me and everything. He said, Shirley, I pray for you every day. And to this day, I have not forgotten the fact that that man prayed for me every day. Yeah. Now, Pastor Johnson tells me now that he prays for me every day. So you ought to have somebody. Somebody that's praying for you every day. so much, but being with one accord yeah. and praying for one another. Hallelujah, hallelujah. James said you ought to take and you ought to go to some elder, amen, and be anointed. Hallelujah. So we are supposed to keep our illnesses to ourselves. Hallelujah. That's what the enemy wants. He wants to destroy us. You know, God doesn't want to destroy us. Hallelujah. We can say, Lord, Lord, I'm not ready now, Lord. Right now. Yeah. Give me a little more time, Lord. Yeah. I want to do a little more work yeah. for you. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. fix it, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch me, Lord. Yeah. And he'll do just 
just that. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. I guess I better. Uh, I don't know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, Mark, the ninth chapter says, ninth chapter, the 14th through the 29th verse reads, and when he came to the disciples, it's March 9, 14 through 29. And when he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude around them and scribes disputing them. Mm -hmm. Immediately when they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed mm -hmm. and run, excuse me, and running to him, uh -huh. yeah. greeted him. And he asked the scribes, what are you discussing with them? Mm -hmm. Then one of the crowd answered and said, teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit, yeah. my Lord. And wherever it seizes him, it throws him down. Yeah. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. Amen? And what did Jesus say? He answered them and said, Oh, faithless generation. And we don't want to be called that, do we? No. We want to be called a what? Faithful generation. Amen. Amen. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Hallelujah. Yeah. We got to take him to Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Take that person that's sick. Take him to Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, Jesus is not here on this earth, but when we pray for them, you are taking them to Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And they brought him to him. And when he saw him, Immediately the spirit convulsed him Amen. and fell on the ground. And while he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. Yes. So he asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. Yes. And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us, yes. is the Father's reply. Yes. And Jesus said to him, if you can believe, yes. that's the key, yes. if you can believe yes. all things, did y'all hear that? Yes. All things. Not one thing, but all, all things are possible to him who believes. Amen. Hallelujah. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. <laughs> Can I hear somebody say, Lord, I believe? Lord, I believe. And then he said, help my unbelief. Hallelujah. So even though you believe in him, you got a little unbelief believe there. You got to ask God to help that unbelief. And I'm giving you a way to, for God to help it. You put your, when something arises, go to the scripture and read it over. That will give you the confidence that you need. Yeah. Hallelujah. Saints of God, it is so important that we know the word uh, of God because that's what we're standing on. We're standing on his word because it's true it is it is impeccable and there is nothing any greater hallelujah than the word of god it's strong amen hallelujah when jesus saw that the people came running together he rebuked the unclean spirit and said to it deaf and dumb spirit i command you to come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly. The spirit didn't want to come out and came out of him. And he came, became as one dead. So that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up. And he did what? He arose. 
So when you pray for it, it will happen. Yes. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, what could we not cast it out? Yes. So Jesus had an answer from this kind can only come out by nothing but what? Prayer and fasting. So therefore it means that we've got to do some praying and some fasting. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stop right there because I, it is, it's, it's a point where you need to absorb what I've said. And prayerfully you have absorbed what i said. And I pray that you've gained a little more faith. Amen? Amen. Now we have a uh,